if you stood on a stool and stretch your hands up, you could touch the sky. At that time, far on the horizon, where the sky was always especially low, there was a village. In that village, in a little mud hut, thatched with straw, there lived a bent old woman. This bent old woman was the oldest woman in the village. Possibly the oldest woman in the world. She was so old, she no longer remembered any other way of being. She lived all alone in a little mud hut, for she had neither family or friends. She had nowhere to go and no one to talk to. So all day long she would pot around her hut. Now cleaning this corner. Now dusting that. Now sweeping this bit of floor and scrubbing that. This bent old woman thought of nothing else anymore except more and more ways of sweeping and scrubbing her little mud hut. The poor old sky began to sneeze and that shook the world. The old woman went on until a big drop fell under the sky. Even the bedroom was so angry with the sky, the old woman tried to stop the water, but it couldn't. Away, but another big drop fell on her. The old woman flew into a rage. She stood up as high as she could and yell at the sky to stop. But the poor old sky did not stop. The old woman picked her broom and snapped the sky with it. But the old woman was so angry that she went on snapping the sky with it. Finally, coughing, <coughs> thundering and raining sky flew up, away and out of the way of reach of old woman's broom and never came down again. So that is why the sky is so high. Thank you. Thank you.